Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of War Stories. My name, of course, is Ryan Smeltz, and today we are talking about coming home. So yesterday we went over the stress fractures that caused me to get convalescent leave, and we ended on me going to the travel agent getting a plane ticket. And I will tell you, this is the first time that I had taken leave in the Army. It is also the second time that I took a flight um, where the Army, I, I think the Army paid for it. I can't remember if I paid for the flight for convalescent leave or if the Army paid for it. I think maybe some of my drill sergeant friends might be able to uh, answer that question um, or, or remind me. Uh, but I get on the plane. It was extremely difficult because I did have crutches. I will tell you that once I got home, uh, I didn't necessarily use the crutches as much. It was a profile that was given to me by a doctor in the army and uh it really just required um obviously while i was in training uh to help uh keep pressure off that leg once i was home i wasn't doing a whole lot of running uh mostly focused on uh rest and relaxation uh to get uh the stress fractures to heal so I didn't really have to worry about using them, and uh, I wasn't going to get in trouble for not following my profile. So, um, it was roughly about two weeks. I might have been home for 10 days, because like I said, I believe I scheduled the flight for to return back to basic training. Uh, maybe about two days early, um, but I I came home. Um, you know I I I just remember that uh, my family had moved from Mebane up to Prospect Hill. Uh, the the beginning of uh, 2005. So when I came home, of course it was nice because I had my car. So. I had a little more freedom. Um, I was able to uh, visit some friends, um, tell mom and dad what basic training was like, uh, and really just uh, make sure that my leg uh, kind of recuperated before I went back to training. Um, but it was a pretty relaxed environment. Um, I think I might have swung by the recruiting station uh, to say hi to the recruiters. I honestly don't remember. Um, it was somewhat early, maybe kind of uh, in the grand scheme of things, kind of smack dab in the middle of training for me because obviously once I get got back uh, and I believe we'll talk about this more on Friday, uh, but I did get recycled because I missed uh, three major training events. So we'll get into what those were and kind of what that process looked like uh, near the end of the week. But um, flying back was about the same. The hardest part, to be honest with you, was getting on the plane. I had the crutches. I had to lug everywhere with me and so i those had to be stowed and i sat in my seat and then getting on and off the plane was a little difficult with those crutches as well uh but once i got back uh, i made it back to my training unit and i checked in um and i do remember that when i left uh, we had three drill sergeants. When I got back, we had one different drill sergeant. Um, 
which I'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but uh, really just reintegrating with my uh, training unit and getting back into the swing of things, you know, waking up early, going to PT. Um, I do remember that when I got back, um, they, of course, had me go back to sick call uh, to do a follow-up that I think I had scheduled before I left for convalescent leave. And when I got back and went to the doctor, the doctor was talking about physical therapy, which I think in order to do that, I would have to... Um, go to PTRP, which we talked about early on. And I remember my brother-in-law, Chris, had, I believe, participated in PTRP a little bit. And I heard horror stories of people going over there and kind of getting stuck there and stuck in training for a long period of time. But I also remember I got back and uh, I think it was maybe somewhere around the time we took the phase five PT test. And so I think I either ignored my profile or I got the profile lifted and I took the phase five PT test and I passed it. And I remember I ran like a, like a high 13, maybe a 1345 or a 1350 somewhere in there for the two mile. So I went to that follow-up appointment, and the doctor had mentioned, oh, well, we're going to put you in physical therapy, and, we'll, you know, I'll write you a profile to put you over in PTRP. And I told him that I had passed my Phase 5 PT test. And so he did a couple checks on my leg, uh, kind of pushed on my foot, and was like, does this hurt? Does that hurt? Does this hurt? And uh, I, it, it didn't, so I said no. And he said, well, if you're recuperating, you're able to pass your PT test, and maybe you don't really need physical therapy. Maybe you don't need uh, PTRP. So uh, I kind of skated by on that. Uh, obviously, as we see coming up this week, uh, I did not get to graduate with that training unit. Uh, also, Something I'll probably talk about again, but people got orders and kind of knew where they were going. I did not. Uh, I think it was offered to me that they would tell me where I was headed, uh, but I declined that information because I didn't know, I didn't want to know where I was going to go and then get a different duty station. So instead, uh, I just kind of rolled with the punches and waited to get recycled. And we'll talk about that once again later on. So, uh, like I said, tomorrow um, we'll talk a little bit about returning to training. Uh, that new drill sergeant, you'll see the show notes. But if you're enjoying this, then be sure to leave us a five-star review. Subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. And most importantly, tell your friends to subscribe as well. My name is Ryan Smeltz. This is War Stories, and I will see you on tomorrow's episode.